Man, I have never felt more alive. Word of advice, never bring a taser to a paintball fight. Hello, Kenan. I'm Krishna. How are you? All right, our grand finale is here. Come on, let's do this, Krishna. Welcome to the presentation of Project Strike a Pose. The goal is to depose human in photographs. Mm -hmm. In order to create effective flyers, ads, or posters, oftentimes we need images of models in different poses. Luckily, Adobe Stock provides such images. However, finding images of a model in specific pose might be difficult. For example, my artist friend really liked this model for his poster, but didn't like her pose. But there are several stock images with the desired poses. Is there any way to transfer these poses to the desired model? I mean, I definitely know the answer, but for all those other Philistines out there, when exactly would you use this? We can use Project Striker Pose to harness the power of Adobe Sensei to achieve this. I don't see what the issue is. This is a great pose. In order to perform reposing, we just need to provide image of a model whose pose has to be changed, followed by a target image from where pose would be borrowed, and strike a pose gonna do rest of the magic to generate completely new image of this model in our desired target pose. This is really amazing, given that this image never existed in real world, and entire image was generated from the scratch. If you don't like this specific target pose, we can simply replace it with another image in which we like the pose. And again, we are able to generate a new image matching our target pose here. Sometimes, finding a stock image with a desired pose might be tedious and it would be much faster to just pose ourselves. For example, I was interested in this folded arm pose, so I just went ahead and took picture of me in that specific pose. It just took me a few seconds. And then, provided this image as our target pose, and again, we generate a new image matching my pose. So we can simply take the Im images in different poses we, which we like, and strike a pose can generate image matching these poses. I was also curious that how this model gonna look while facing backward. So I took another picture of me facing backward and provided it as a target image. And again, strike a pose generated a new image of this model facing backward. This is an extremely challenging task because we need to hallucinate entire back portion by just looking at the front side of the source image here. So, we have seen our capabilities of reposing on stock images till now. Let's see how can we use it for some interesting downstream task. So, remember the model which our artist friend want to use it for his poster? We use striker pose to generate all these different pose variations of this model. This is truly remarkable because this model never posed in these poses before, but still Striker Pose was able to generate all these different pose variation by using just a single image as a reference. Next, our artist friend created this impressive poster by using our generated image and saved a lot of time because he doesn't have to perform reposing himself. So till now we have seen our reposing capabilities on stock images, but our technology is not limited to that and can be also used for personal photo collection. So I, I recently got engaged. Way to bury the lead, Krishna. And my fiance was visiting my parents. Congrats on your engagement. I think the thing you've neglected to mention about this technology is that it makes you irresistible to women. <laughs> I'm not too sure about that, but thanks anyway, Kenan. As my fiance was visiting my hometown, she was quite tense and ended up giving a post which she didn't like. Well, I mean, in fairness, it is a lot of pressure meeting the future in-laws. That's true, but usually she's quite good in posing and has many more images in which she really like her pose. After seeing what striker pose could do on the stock images, she asked, can we replicate similar magic on her photo collection? And I said, why not? Mm -hmm. I gave the image in which she didn't like her pose as the source image, followed by image in which she really liked her pose as the target image. And again, strike a pose powered by Adobe Sensei did its magic and generated a completely new image of my fiance in the pose which she really liked. So basically we can easily change any bad poses in our personal photo collection using strike a pose. So Keenan, do you have any embarrassing pose which you, which you would like to change? I don't think so. I have done a lot of modeling. Actually, yes. 
Krishna, this technology would be extremely useful to me. Red carpet, here I come, finally. Good luck with that, Kenan.